Okay, and in continuing, we are going to now begin to follow our document for our course in terms of what we're doing to set up our brand new WordPress. The first one is going to trash the Hello World post. Let me go ahead and pull that out of the way and show you what that looks like. And so I'm going to go under Posts. Here it is. I'm going to click on Trash. And I can go ahead and hover, or go into Trash, rather, and actually um, delete all of it as well. So that takes care of Trash. And then the next thing I want to do is uh, do the same for the comments. Okay, double checking here. There are no posts under the comments, which is good. The next piece where it says pages section, rename the sample page to be home. I want to do that because I need a placeholder page so that I can go ahead and point to it at a later point. All I've done is I've gone to pages, to the sample page, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the title and name it home. And you don't really have to get rid of the placeholder text, but you certainly can. I'm going to go ahead and click on Update, and that portion is taken care of. And I'm going to scroll on our page down to take a look at what our next step is. The next step is install your preferred theme. We did that earlier in the previous vi video, so we're going to move on to steps 4 through 9 under uh, different subsections over here under Settings. So I'm going to go to Settings. And I'm going to first be in the general area. And let me bring back up our document. And the first thing is to set the title and the tagline. That's here under general settings, title and tagline. And I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of other things right here on this page. So title, tagline, and then the membership registration. Make sure no one can register. Uncheck this. So I'm going to do those three things super quick. I'm going to go ahead and name this WebQuest and I'm going to type in MSET Ramapo. You can put anything you want here. This is just a sample. Obviously whatever the title is of your project should go here and you would have the option of suppressing the tagline later on. So if you're not happy with that you can um, certainly change that later on. I would also put in an email address here that helps uh, the system send you an email in case anybody uh, needs uh, to get back in in terms of new user notification. It's also great if you happen to forget your password you can reset it. This portion where it says membership make sure that this is unchecked and then I'm going to move down and I'm going to go up to the time zone and I have to scroll up quite a bit in order to get to North America and you can tell that I'm getting into North America by starting to see cities um, in the North America area. And the date and time format I'm not as fussy with, but you can certainly change it here. This mostly becomes important when you're dealing with posts. And that is all you need to do on this particular page. Again, I'm under Settings, General. I've dealt with the site title, the tagline. I've added an email address. I've made sure nobody can register. I've set the time zone and I'm going to click on Save Changes. The next thing I want to do is I want to go under Reading. And let me just show you on our worksheet here. This is something um, we're now at step eight, the Reading subsection. We want to move um, here to making our front page displaying a static page and we're going to select that as the home page. Note that that only works if I had previously gone in and named a page home. If I hadn't it would have come up sample page that would have been okay too but um, I like to do it correctly from the start. I'm going to click on save changes. The next important part of this is to go under the discussion panel and here there are a variety of things that you should check, uncheck, 
and on your worksheet I do have samples of these here so you can go ahead and look at your worksheet to uh, determine what those are um, I'm just going to uncheck these and check that. Uh, again, I'm not doing that very slowly. I uh, request that you go back to your worksheet and take a look at it in more detail there. What I'm trying to do here basically is prevent other people from creating comments on our page. This isn't a guarantee by setting these things up, but at least it helps a little bit. You're basically saying comment author must fill out the name and email users must be registered and logged in to comment but remember back under the general area we had gone ahead and said that nobody can register one other tip that I want to take us into before I leave this section I'm going to go to pages the next thing I want to do is I do want to do um, take a look at my home page and I want to click on quick edit and under quick edit I have an extra option to allow comments and I do not want that so I'm going to uncheck allow comments and I'm going to click on update and for the moment I am done with those pieces I am going to stop this video tutorial here and I'll join you back in a minute